Welcome to Wearin Up. Idyllic and picturesque, if you're over 40. I can think of a few other words, but we'll go with ordinary. My name is Ben Johnson, and I live in Wearin Up. It's OK, I guess, but the definition of excitement is when Mum forgets to tell me to do my homework. Hi, Belle. Hi, Mum. She thinks ironing is a lost art form and is so organised that dinner hits the table at six. Hey, you can go inside, but those sneakers are staying out here. I mean, exactly at six. Come and give me a hand with the washing. But then my whole life is turned inside out, thanks to my favourite pair of red sneakers. How much homework have you got tonight? Uh, just my English lesson. <laughs> The wearing up thief nicked my sneakers. The red ones that smelt like last week's leftover prawns? Then he's armed. And desperate. Don't you think sometimes maybe there's more out there? More what? Where? I don't know the word, but... Like you've spent your whole life training for something that never comes. It does come, Ben. It's called trouble, and you're always getting us into it. But you wobbly, <laughs> don't you grasshopper? Come on, admit it, you love it. Yes, master. Whatever you say, master. So, do you want to catch the thief or not? I can't today, man. I promised my mum I'd clean my room. Don't you want your bike back? I gotta get home, Ben. Sorry. Oh. Quest. The word I was looking for is quest. Or adventure. Or enterprise. or anything. Does your mum want eggs? Not today, thanks, Mrs. Dawes. Not today, Florence. Well, she won't be getting any tomorrow. Ben? Hi, Mr. Blackburn. Just, um, attract the customer's eyes and these babies will be walking off the shelf. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. You just walk them right back up there, thank you. What you doing, Ben? Thief stole my sneakers. The red one. Thank whatever guide you believe in. <laughs> I'm going to catch him. And this is my bait. No, that's a Walkman. And he's already got a Walkman. He stole mine. Then I'm going to dangle another Walkman right in front of the wearing-up thief. And gotcha. All this to retrieve those disgusting sneakers. It's got nothing to do with the reward, of course. What reward? Hundred bucks. My mum offered as soon as I told her about Tiffany's walk. Oh, man, that's so sweet. So, when I catch this thief, I get Francis's bike back, Tiffany's Walkman, and a hundred bucks from you. Life doesn't get sweeter than that. Melinda, can I buy you a soy milkshake? You too, Tiff. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it in twenties, thanks. Yeah, whatever. That's a spot. My sneakers. Oh. Yeah. 
Get off me! I know you don't. I want my hundred bucks. My sneakers. Francis? <laughs> Ben Johnson. Caught. Hook, line, and sinker. Well done, he got it. Is this yours, Morris? I told you. I didn't steal anything. Well, this is Francis Short's bike. Ah, and my Walkman! Tiffany. Is this the face of a petty criminal? Frankly, I'm not as surprised as I might have been. I want the reward, Mum. I caught the wearing up thief. I want the reward. Hello? Hey, that's Is anybody my listening? I didn't steal anything. Then who did? I saw the whole thing. It was... Francis, tell them. I was at home. Francis! It doesn't get any worse than this. Oh, yes, it does. Hi, Mum. Come any closer. You don't know what you're dealing with. Yes, I do. A thief who's gotten me into trouble. I warned you. Oh, by the way, best sneakers I've ever had. Hey! Where did he go? Sun's warm today. I had a little hallucination. That's all. No biggie. Morning, Mrs. Thompson. Tomatoes really do look good. Where did that come from? Mom, you home? Mom? Pots. Great, Mum, just what we needed. Who are you? What are you doing in my room? You're her, the girl. Well, I'm a girl. Are you a thief committing a robbery? No, the one from the bush. Da da dee 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 da. Are you spying on me? Well, I didn't mean to. It's following Francis. Oh, so you're a friend of Francis? Known him my whole life. Then how come in my whole life I've never seen you before? Because you're not from around here, are you? You happen to be standing in my room right now. Your room. This is my room. You there, Catherine? Dad! 
Now I get it. Someone's been redecorating my room. Who's this? He was in my room. That's my room. Where's my mother? Veronica? My mum? I'll sort it, Dad. You just went too far. I hope he calls the police. Neither of you answered my question. Where's my mum? Quit it, you little creep. There's no mother around here, as you well know. Then who made this? How did you know? There's only one person in the whole world who can make plots this bad. It's the only one left. She made it just before... just before she disappeared. I don't need this. Warnings. I've been more than fair. You are under arrest. Arrest for what? Section 14, subsection 6. Failure to heed a police officer siren. Section 14, subsection 7. Failure to heed a police officer siren a second time. Section 14... I get the idea. Section 27A, paragraph 12, answering back to a police officer. Did not. You have now. And section 49, subsection 2, walking on the wrong side of the road. Walking on the wrong side of the road. You don't think handcuffs are overdoing it just a little bit? have here, Sergeant? I caught him walking on the wrong side of the road. Mm. Haven't seen him round here before. Didn't you see the signs? I'll bet he's the wearing up thief. He looks the type. His eyes? Too close together. Excuse me, I didn't steal anything. You were caught. Hook, line and sinker. That was a bad gag the first time round. All I got caught at was jaywalking. What is he charged with? Uh, section 49, subsection 2. Walking on the wrong side of the road. We'll keep him here for now and bring him into court at 11.10. Well, can't we just hang him? Oh, you haven't changed, although you couldn't get any worse. All right, everybody, show's over. Move along now. Everybody, move along. Have a nice day, everybody. Don't get too cocky. Judge Blackburn has been known to sentence life for less. One padlock. Easy. One police padlock. No problems. Just tell me why. He says my mother oh. is alive. He says she's his mother too. You don't believe that? No. <gasps> but he recognised her in all the photos. And he knew about her pottery. <laughs> I wanted to please you, my best friend. <laughs> I'm your only friend. <laughs> Do you have any bolt cutters? <laughs> no worries. This will open my slugs. Hey, let me out of here! This isn't fair! Well, we could just use the key. Well, sure, if you want to take the romance out of it. Come on, guys. I'll confess, I'll do anything. Just let me out of here! Oh, bless you! Hey, fever. I, I get that too. It's these little white flowers. Oh, Come on, guys, open up. You Would again? you stop whinging? I will get you out. You? You got me into this. Stay there. And bless you again. Oh. And bless you again. Well, thank you. Now. Uh, uh, why? Why what? Um. Why can't we walk on the ground? Catherine Reddick. Catherine, keep away from the prisoner. Library books due back Wednesday. Don't forget. I won't, Mrs. Dawes. Now, uh, Melinda has just asked us a very interesting legal question about protecting our grass from selfish overuse. If we didn't have laws to keep people off the grass, there wouldn't be any grass, would there? Because it would all die. This is a one-off rescue. In future, Stick to your own patch. It's safer. What do you mean, my own patch? Your own wearing up. 
The one where you came from? I mean, there's two. Look, just go back, all right? How? I don't even know how I got here. Backtrack, dude. Go back the way you came. There wouldn't be any grass left, would there? Grass just doesn't grow on trees now, does it? Well, then how come he's allowed on the grass? I'm not allowed to Hey! You! Stop in the name of the law! Talk to him. Good luck. He was walking on the grass. No moonwalking. Wait, please. What are you doing? Going through there. I think. Francis said I had to. Francis Short. He said there's two warren ups. Parallel worlds. That is totally illogical. Actually, it's the only thing that makes any sense. There's your wearing up where there's all these dumb laws and Melinda wears glasses and Francis is a thief. And one on the other side of that. In my wearing up where everything's just boring and Francis is my best mate. If there are two Melindas and two Francises, how many Veronicas? What's it to you? Fine. I need to know because... because she's my mother too. Of all the dumb things you've said today, that is the dumbest. See you later. Not. I don't believe it. That's not logical. It's just a trick. It's, it's just a trick and... Back now. Oh, I have a new pair. Far out. So you're definitely the Francis who's been stealing everybody's stuff. Redistribution of wealth, man. I thought that was the other wearing up. Yeah, but which other wearing up? You mean there's another one? The world stops while we wait for the penny to drop. <whistles> three. There are three worlds? Bingo. But how? That's all you need to know, dude. Wait up, man! Side. Okay, so you were right about everything. Not everything. There's not two worlds, there's three. Impossible. There are thousands of worlds <gasps> and they're being destroyed. Will you please stop doing that? You need to go back through the drain now, Catherine. Me? Catherine, please, right now. You two can't be together or you will die. Mom! Thank you. 